Hey there, it's Lem at the Toy Temple, and today I'm taking a look at the Mega Man 11, Mega Man vs. Dr. Wily action diorama. Now, I don't know what that means, but I'm excited to see what it is. And on the front, you've got Mega Man jumping right at you with the Mega Buster. And you've got that evil, evil Dr. Wily with really, really sharp teeth. He needs a dentist, but the box, super long, very rectangular. And on the side, you've got some more Mega Man action, but on the back, it looks like uh, Dr. Wily has groveling bobble action. So, I don't know what that is. I'm very interested to see what's going on with that. The stand looks good. Mega Man, he's got hands. I wish they, uh, maybe they included extra pieces. We'll find out. But flipping it back to the front, by the way, small tangent, I hate when I have a box like this and I peel the sticker off and the sticker leaves that gross, gross residue. What's the deal with those stickers? Why don't they just make a sticker that you can peel off? Anyway, let's get down to it. Let's crack them out of the box and I hope you'll join me. So here is Wiley and Mega Man out of the package. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I was afraid it was going to be something like this, but I got this at GameStop for like $10, so I'm not mad. This uh, this is funny. Unfortunately, they are unremovable. You cannot move them, and they do not articulate, which uh, I guess is fine. So if you love Mecha Man, and you love watching him watch uh, somebody grovel, like, look at him. Wow, that's, that's some hardcore bobble action. But let's take a look at the actual stand. Looks like it's from the final level of Mega Man 11. It's got the little arrows. Obviously, this is rolling and keeping Mega Man on a non-stationary platform, so he has to jump and attack. And You know, back when video games were really difficult, that was hard. That was hard to do, is keep moving and shooting and jump and shoot. So, let's see what it looks like from the other side. Maybe it looks a little bit better. You know, honestly, it kind of does. And I like that the arrows go the other way, but I feel like Mega Man's leaning just a little bit too far forward. And plus, you don't really get a good look at all the uh, insides of Dr. Wily. You can see the spring and the head down there, but look, he's rocking a red tie, black shirt. You don't get to see that from the side. Mega Man, though, the classic blue bomber outfit. Definitely from the NES days. And I think Mega Man 11 was released on Switch, PS4, you know, as a downloadable title. But we can just pretend, between you and me, that... This one's for Mega Man 2, which is truly the superior version of Mega Man. You know, you get the Metal Blade, you got... Oh man, it's so good. Leaf Storm, all those. Man, they're so good. I love that game. No Mega Man X. You know, I'm a Super Nintendo fan at heart, but Mega Man 2 is where it's at. So check that out if you get time. And speaking of checking things out, for $10, if you see this in store, I'd say pick it up. It's $10, and it's funny. It's... Yeah, it's got it's got some of that goofy charm. So, you know, I'm gonna give it a three and a half star out of five review. It's it's solid, but this is a little bit goofy. And you know, if it was stationary like this, it I think it'd be a lot better. Maybe a half star more. But you know, it's it's hard to say. But Mega Man, I wish you could lean back just a little bit further. I don't want to snap you off there, but you need to be. Up like that you know it's it's fairly solid so check it out if you get time and so with that thank you so much for watching hit like share subscribe let me know down in the comments what your very first Mega Man game was make sure you hit us up on both Instagram and Twitter both at the toy temple and remember you're never too old to enjoy the things you love wow look at that go